Welcome. Join me to talk about didactic strategy, interactive digital board, and teaching learning heat capacity for high school. My name is Marta Patricia Hernandez Bravo, and this paper was made in collaboration between Instituto Tepeyac and Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México. I'm glad to introduce you to my dear colleagues, Adolfo Eduardo Ovalla Valdivia, Carlos Montaño Osornio, and Yolanda Marina Vargas Rodriguez. Let's begin with the introduction. Today, new horizons have been opened in the use of interactive digital boredom, online resources, and the use of iPads. Even a new theory of modern learning has been defined as connecting to the collaborative learning environment that arises from the use of the internet, either in online classrooms, social networks, and virtual realities, or simulated communities as means to share information dynamically between educators and students, as defined by He and Niniawe. As referred by Perez Santos and Sierra Vázquez, the interactive board is seen as a versatile tool. Currently, the use of interactive board have been reported not only in the school educational field as physics, geometry, engineering, music learning, but also it has been used in special education for the teaching of people with hearing impairment and cerebral palsy, as well as in medical field for management of hospitalized patients. Due to difficulties presented in teaching and learning some basic concepts of thermodynamics at the high school level, this work proposes the design of a didactic sequence that includes the use of interactive board to identify the alternative conceptions of students in addition to stimulating their skills and facilitating the learning process, as many authors have reported. Today, students between the ages 6 and 26 have multiple electronic tools and devices at their fingertips. Those are part of their lives and have sensitively marked their way of thinking, acting, and conceiving the world, giving rise to the next generation, as now they are called. This new generation of digital natives think and process information differently than their predecessors, digital immigrants. According to Ovalla, faced with this new landscape, the functions of the updated teacher are rethinked. The need arises to facilitate the inclusion of different online forms of communication, such as social classrooms, social networks, and virtual reality. This brings us closer to be part of the movement named by Preskin Cobb as connectivism. According to Edel Navarro, the characteristics of students of the next generation are the following. Their development is intimately linked to a computer. They develop a skill for interactive and symbolic communication. They are self-employed apprentices who share their experience with other individuals. That's connectivism. They possess creative thinking. They can develop different activities simultaneously. Some previous research by Milenkovic and Lopez Carrasco on the use of digital and interactive material in learning teaching processes suggests that a nanoscopic representation of phenomena greatly increased learning in students. According to some authors, some of the advantages of working with interactive digital board have been identified. For example, by providing different tools to build more constructivist and autonomous teaching spaces for students, by giving the possibility of developing the metacognition of students, by promoting flexibility and spontaneity, since it can be accommodated to any didactic strategy. In some cases, the increase in the participation of interactive classes has been documented, which is reflected in better organized classes. This is our general objective. To design a didactic sequence using interactive digital board on the concepts of constant pressure heat capacity to facilitate the teaching and learning process in higher mid-level chemistry students. Let's see the methodology. For our design, the following was considered. Students mean age of 17 years, cursing the second and last year of high school, a subject chemistry course third and fourth, whose curriculums include the topics of calorific capacity and reaction heat. Opening phase, identify students' prior knowledge and alternative conceptions near the topic to adapt pedagogical intervention to the level of learning of students. Developing phase, 
Students identified the main characteristics of the heat capacity at constant pressure and volume and relate them to different materials and mathematical expression and meaning of heat capacity in the resolution of exercises. Closing phase. The knowledge acquired by the student will be evaluated through a questionnaire to be the performance and to assess the modification of some alternative conceptions. Characteristics of the control group activities are guided inquiry, brainstorming and diagnosis assessment, teacher-centered, use of blackboard and marker, summative evaluation using written questionnaire, and the characteristics of experimental group activities are triggering questions and images and diagnosis assessment, student-centered, interactive presentations and endoscopic visualizations, summative evaluation using Centeo system from Smart Technologies, the practical heat capacity determination and collaborative work were the only activities developed the same way in both groups, control and experimental. Results and discussion. The following alternative conceptions could be inferred from the data obtained in the diagnosis evaluation and observation of students' verbal expressions for the teaching sequence concerning calorific capacity. First, confusion between the concepts of heat and temperature. Second, the false belief that a substance with high heat capacity heats up a lot in a short time. And third, temperature is not related to a nanoscopic representation of the rapidity of molecules. In our general analysis based on the results by group, the averages obtained in the diagnosis evaluation and the final evaluation referring to the didactic sequence on calorie capacity are compared, showing an improvement in the final results of both groups, as shown in figure. According to the variance analysis ANOVA applied to the samples, there is a significant difference in the application of the sequence that includes an interactive digital board on students' learning. Conclusions Findings from the point of view of the students who learned using interactive digital board. There is a significant difference between the results obtained with the didactic sequence using the interactive board compared to the sequence without it. Improves in understanding the main topics, better willingness to work, improvement in the molecular representation capacity of phenomena and mathematical interpretation of these. Findings from the point of view of the teacher who uses interactive digital board. It facilitates the processes of presentation and modification of alternative conceptions, the evaluation through the interactive Centeo system and the feedback provided to the student. According to our analysis of variance, there is a significant difference between the two teaching methods. The method using interactive digital board in conjunction with interactive evaluation favors students' learning and communication during class, as well as participation and motivation. Both positive comments and increased class attendance were recorded. The interactive digital board as a teaching and learning tool has a wide range of applications. Our research is a starting point to further investigate the adoption rate and the variables that affect a successful implementation of this tool. All reference can be found in the original article. For heat capacity questionnaire, please refer to Annex A. Thanks for your attention.